Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 60 at chapter 4. In this one, things become a little bit different, and then we know the particle's mass, and then we know its initial velocity is zero, and the initial point is zero, and then it uh, just uh, accelerated by force. And this force changes with time. So this is the first time we solve the problems, right? The force can change with time. You need to determine the velocity and the position. So in this one, first thing, uh, if we want to find the velocity and the position, we must know acceleration. So we apply Newton's second law as a net force equals mass times acceleration. So there, we input the force, it changes with time. So it's become a little bit difficult because when the acceleration is also changes with time, and then how can we solve the problems? We remember our definition. So we can solve this equation, we find acceleration is a function of time. It can be changing. And then acceleration can be the change of the velocity divided by time taking, right? So we can take the derivation dv divided by dt equals this one, this term. And then in this one, because this is derivation, so we can do the integral at the first at both sides. So then we times dt at the two sides, so we, we get dv equals this term times dt and integral at both sides. Because at initial time t equal to zero, so the velocity is zero. It tells us initial velocity is zero. And then at the t, the velocity becomes t, so then we get the velocity at the every point of time t. This way, solve the problem. The next two problems ask you the position. So when you solve the position, we still look at it. What is this? Uh, Equation again, we find the velocity equals the function as, as, as a function as a variable t, and then we know the velocity is the change of the position divided by time. So we can solve this uh, derivation equations and do the integral at the both sides, and finally we get that. So in this one, we can see for the force is changing with time, acceleration is changing with time. Uh, we cannot use our previous way to solve it because acceleration become become changeable, right? So in this one, time de dependent. In this one, we need to do the integral on both sides and solve it. Thank you.